Hey, you're back at the Brother Apocalypse channel as we unravel a relationship mystery connected to the current P. Diddy scandal, where Stevie J dropped a video of Diddy's 50th birthday party that some think is him sneak snitching on all those who attended. Keep that in mind. Period. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them. The, uh, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, 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 and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the light. I didn't have no more of these. Amen, yeah. amen. Gee. That person. Mm. What do you think a plant is? Maybe people don't understand the definitions of these words. I felt like a monster. Chris Brown is opening up about the 2009 incident with Rihanna while on their way to the Grammys. She grabs my nuts. And when she, when she do that, I actually, I bite, her, I bite her arm, I think, as I'm driving, because I'm still trying to drive. And it's just, it's just like a petty, like, stupid fight. Brown was found guilty of felony assault. I remember she tried to kick me. It's like just her just being upset. But then I really hit her. Like, I, I, like I, with a closed fist, like I punched her. You know, and it uh, busted her lip. And when I saw it, I was in shock. I was like, why the hell did I hit her? Like, so from there, she's just spit in my face. Like, spit the blood in my face. In a new documentary, Chris Brown, Welcome to My Life, the Grammy winner claimed there was a history of violence in their relationship. It would be verbal fights, physical fights as well, mutual sides, and this is the first time I get to say anything. And like I said, I still love Rihanna. In 2012, Rihanna opened up to Oprah about her feelings towards Chris after the incident. He was the love of my life. He was the first love. And I see that he loved me the same way. The couple reunited for a short time in 2014, but the relationship didn't last. There's something strange, peculiar, even disturbing about how Chris Brown and Rihanna even started dating in the first place and how Jay-Z and P. Diddy are key players in their tumultuous relationship way back in the day. Remember, Breezy and Riri went to Diddy's mansion in Miami to have some alone time to reconcile. But why not Jay-Z's mansions? Oh, but wait. That might be because he was too close to Rihanna for Beyonce's comfort at that time. The relationship between Rihanna and Jay-Z has long been clouded in confusion, with persistent rumors suggesting that the two had an affair when they first collaborated. These rumors date back to 2005 and allegedly played a significant role in Beyonce and Jay-Z's reported one-year split as the Cuff It singer grappled with the onslaught of stories. According to author J. Randy Tarabarelli, as reported by the Daily Mail, Beyonce didn't know what to make of this and it actually actually ended up breaking them up for a time. They spent maybe a year apart from each other because Beyonce just wasn't sure of what to make of the situation with Rihanna. However, it later emerged that these rumors were nothing more than fabrication. Publicist Jonathan Hay confessed to planting the stories in the press after being hired to promote Rihanna's debut single, Ponder Replay. To a publicist who worked for Rihanna who admitted that he planted the story in the press, it was not true. It was a story that he planted in order to further Rihanna's career. Despite the success. Why not an upscale relationship retreat with expensive marriage counselors? Or maybe dating counselors. <laughs> hmm. What did they do at Diddy's Miami mansion? With all the current controversy surrounding the fallen Bad Boy Records mogul and his close relationship with Jay-Z, Every celebrity connected to both are swept up in a web of intrigue in the year of the reckoning, as Cat Williams put it. Your favorite celebrities are sworn to secrecy as to what goes down behind closed doors during the deepest darkness of night. Do you really think a major career shattering fight would be triggered because Chris was intimate with a girl before he met Riri? That was the gossip back then. I want to say maybe a year and a half into the relationship uh, with Rihanna, I just, I really was serious about it. Like, you know, I was, I was always goofy about everything else being a young kid, but the maturity level I had in my beliefs of what I wanted with my girlfriend, you know what, I, I want to marry you, but I want before, you know, we go any further, I just want to be able to be honest and be completely real with you about everything you've ever had a question about or a doubt about. 
or she had asked me like right when we first started dating, hey, you ever mess with this this person? And this person, uh, she worked for me at the time. And I said, nah, 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 man, it's, you know what it is. Just, you know, I brushed it to the side. One, I didn't want her knowing my business. Two, I just didn't know who she would tell if I tell her what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? So around like the eighth month or maybe like a little bit after that VMA performance, I, I just broke it to her. I said, hey, I want to marry you. But I want to be real with you. I want to, I want to be honest with you and tell you, you know, everything. This is what it is. Before we were together, me and this other girl did have sex. My trust totally was lost with her. You know what I'm saying? She hated me. After that, I tried everything. Like, she didn't care. Like, she just didn't trust me after that. From there, it just went downhill because, you know, it would be fights, it would be verbal fights, physical fights as well, mutual sides. And this is the first time I get to say anything. And like I said, I still love Rihanna, but it's, it's I'm, be, I'm just gonna be honest. We would fight each other, she would hit me, I would hit her. Um, and but it never was okay. So the bottom line is you have moved on from that incident in 2009 where you were abused and he was arrested. Even though you know that that will follow probably both of you for the rest of your lives. Follow probably both of you for the rest of your lives. Yes. And is that what you want the I, world to know? Have you have to. moved on. Uh, yeah, I mean, I have to move on. And, you know, as I said, it happened to me. So I can't tell people how to feel about it. They're entitled to feel angry because it's not, it wasn't a good thing, you know, to happen. Um, but you have forgiven him. But I have. I have, and that's my personal thing. And your forgiving him does not mean that you are weak or that you are a victim or that you are. And that's what I had to realize. If you're that naive, then you need to level up your IQ. <laughs> or is Tila Tequila, remember her, a one-time acquaintance of Rihanna, correct when she allegedly exposed the real reason for the breakup? Uh-oh, let's unpack that. Recall that Tila when they were still allegedly buddies, took to the airwaves to suggest it would be good for Rihanna to be a champion for victims of DV, given what happened between her and Breezy. Now, it sounds innocent enough, right? But allegedly that angered Riri, and I kind of remember this too, by the way, and she publicly criticized Tilla, going hard in the paint against her, saying she had an ulterior motive for putting Rihanna on blast like that. Hmm, what exactly did Rihanna mean by that? of neighborhood ifs all right rihanna you have a remote control in your hand mm -hmm. if you could take this remote control and to someone that we know famous and you could take the remote control and turn this person off who would you point that remote control off to and turn it off <laughs> uh, i know there are so many Right. Well, you got to I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Don't think too hard. I got to statement. So Tiffany Oh, Evans. Tila Tequila. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Tila Tequila. Hell yes. What the hell? Why did it take me that long? What the hell happened with Tila Tequila? Well, same thing. I don't like when people talk about me and don't know me or don't know what they're saying. It sounds stupid. And you've never met Tila Tequila? You no. Know? Yeah, I guess y'all wouldn't be in the same place. Uh, what did she say? I saw her backstage with the Emmys one year, but... She was working? No. Oh, okay. She was just standing there with a drink in her hand. Really? Of course. Up, what you say? I said, suck her up oh, oh, okay. I thought you said so. I thought you said the F word. Yeah, I was going to say. Drink. Right. Drink it. Right. Whatever. You know what? Just just let it go, man. You know what I'm saying? Put her off here. Take your remote. Put her off exactly. here. Yeah, man. So we had turned I already Tila turned tequila. her off, actually. And people probably saying, uh, <laughs> Tila Tequila. And they, they really was like, Tiffany Evans, who the hell is that? Did I go to high school? <laughs> right. There is a theory, so let's keep going. In response to Rihanna's surprising tirade, Miss Tequila felt some type of way. So she went into hell, half no fury mode. You know, women do that stuff, right? <laughs> and started exposing a dark secret about Rihanna. Now, what could this be? It has to do with a permanent ailment down there that leaves a bumpy kitty or lip, if you know what I mean. Paperwork. I just didn't want to put my family's life on the line. Jay-Z gave her the herpes that she gave to Chris Brown. Rihanna was only 14, 15 when he started fucking with her and signed to the Def Jam. Even with women, you got shut down emotionally, so you can't connect. 
And then now all things happen from there. Infidelity. You can't connect. All right, are we ready? Again, this is not, I do not agree with anything she's saying. I am just reading and documenting what Tila Tequila has turned into. Um, she's no longer the fun party girl. She's that everybody's going to hell. Let me offend everybody, girl. That's what she is. Um, okay. Ooh, I don't like reading this. All right. This crusty headed hoe literally ruined Chris, ba Chris Brown's entire life because he is always painted out as the bad guy when really she actually hit him first. You can tell this bitch is really controlling and what did she expect after, after beating on Chris Brown? For him not to hit her ass back, lol. But because it all happened publicly, Rihanna tried to walk away like she was the victim and still does until this very day. She talks as if she is a strong, independent black woman and let Chris Brown in the dust. He is still famous, but he never got to achieve the level of mainstream fame that he was projected to do. What is the moral of the story here, kids? You go messing around with a harlot witch and she will ruin your entire life. Let me state I have no proof of that. Rihanna and her camp have denied it. So it's just an allegation by an offended friend who didn't like how Rihanna came at her. But think about it. What sounds more plausible to you? Would you get violently angry if a person you just started dating told you that before they met you, they had relations with someone else. <laughs> Does that really make sense? Or would you be furious if you found out that the person you started being intimate with gave you something incurable and permanent? I'll let you decide that one. Now, let's unpack the odd set of circumstances leading up to the big 2009 beatdown. Exactly when did Rihanna and Chris even start hooking up? This has been shrouded in a cloud of mystery, actually, with different years like 2007 being the first year. They actually started having crushes on each other, you know, crushes, little teenage puppy love kind of crushes, <laughs> if you want to call it that, 20 years ago, 2004, around that time, when Chris was 15 and Rihanna was a bit older at 16, according to reports at the time. Both were relatively brand new to the industry. Chris Brown originally tried to get signed by P. Diddy, but as 50 Cent would later comment, the bad boy, Sean Combs, passed on Chris Brown because he can't hear records or he can't hear hit records. That's what 50 said. Not mine. That's not my words. <laughs> so 50 said that basically P. Diddy can't hear hit records unless somebody else makes it a hit later on like Drake did. Anyway, eventually, Chris ended up on Jive Records which was not directly under control by either Jay-Z or Diddy. But it did have ties to notorious Hollywood music boss, Clive Davis, the sponsor of Diddy. So how did Chris hook up with Jay-Z's protege, Rihanna? And some say, quote unquote, underage lover, allegedly back then, when they were in different camps. You know, people thought he was kind of like, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio and loving, you know, young women under 25, remember that? Reports suggest Jay-Z and Diddy had a hand in getting the two together with Jay-Z being the primary matchmaker. Uh -oh, oh boy. Can you imagine a dating service with these two characters as matchmakers? <laughs> oh my goodness. If true, <sighs> they set Chris up for failure, one that has affected him to this day. Who knows how much money Chris lost from concert revenues, endorsements lost, etc. All because of what he was charged criminally of doing to Rihanna. Remember today, even today, Chris Brown is still avoided by some in the industry and many modern women still hate him. Despite the fact he did the time, did community service and even briefly dated Rihanna again ladies, <laughs> but I digress. But do we really know the reason the fight happened? Now, I already told you what the gossip mill at the time said about Tilla Tequila and what she said. They also said it was Jay-Z who gave Rihanna the incurable problem. Now, both of them denied this vehemently, as I mentioned. They also said Rihanna, in turn, gave it to Chris, which sparked a fake lawsuit in North Carolina or somewhere nearby there from a, from a petitioner claiming to be Chris Brown. At some point, Chris Brown confronted Rihanna about this, as well as the fact that she allegedly went downtown on powerful Hollywood men and he didn't know about that. He said his piece to her and broke up with her on the spot and left the party. Desperate for a second chance, allegedly, she followed him, chased him basically, 
somehow hopped in his car. Oh boy, and the rest is Hollywood history. I don't know why Chris didn't lock the door. <laughs> anyway, the official cover-up story for why they broke up is that Chris Brown said, as things were heating up between the two, uh, Breezy, for whatever reason, confessed, quote unquote, that before he started dating her, he had sex with somebody else. Now keep in mind, they were still teenagers. Supposedly, this made Rihanna furious. <laughs> oh boy. What kind of logic is that, ma'am? Ma'am, if he had a girlfriend before you, she's not with him now, duh. But I don't buy this story, actually. Do you? Comment below. Chris says things went downhill from there after he confessed this so-called ha having a girlfriend before her. That's so silly. Anyway, now, it's, now some industry party where Chris and Rihanna were at, guess who magically shows up while Breezy and Riri are there? <laughs> if you guessed his mystery teeny bopper ex-girlfriend, you're right. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> How did this mystery girl supposedly know where they would be at? given their ties to powerful entertainment industry executives. I did a search to see if I can find something on Chris Brown's dating history before 2004, and no one popped up. Now, if this Mr. Girl had enough influence to be invited to this party, then surely, surely I should have found her in my searches, but nope. Anyway, anyway, the official story goes on to say that once Rihanna saw her, <laughs> she got all in her mad feelings at Chris, and the argument started. First of all, first of all, okay. How did Riri know what that girl looked like? Let me say that again. How on earth did Riri know what that girl looked like? Chris Brown only told her about this past girlfriend. Now, given how mad Riri got upon hearing he had sex with someone else before her, supposedly, then why would he be dumb enough to show her a picture or a video of that girl? This doesn't make any doggone sense. That's why I don't believe this official story at all. It takes something very evil, very serious, to make someone mad enough to do all that damage. Not excusing him what he did. And this is not victim shaming, as Chris should not have been sticking his pepper in anyone in the industry anyway. Hollywood celebrities are not who you think people. Stop being fanboys and girls out there. <laughs> but let's hear your opinion about all of this. Have you heard something else as to the reason for their breakup? Comment below and be sure to follow us here and on our YouTube channel today. Gentlemen and ladies too, make sure your sons don't sleep with, around anybody they don't know like that. The Apocalypse of Good Men continues.